You are a property owner, is that correct? I am. And specifically, uh, the one that I was thinking about is uh, Big Bear, which was how many years ago now? I five or maybe even six or seven years ago. All right. So to be clear, it's a property that's on Big Bear. Those who aren't familiar with that, California. Uh, Southern California mountain range <clears throat> in San Bernardino. It's like an hour north of San Diego, east of uh, L.A., and about an hour north of Palm Springs or like... So it's like, got this really cool location. Yeah. And it's the only ski mountain <laughs> in uh, in Southern California. See, what I remember from that, when we first got out to San Diego, is you know, we would go to the bar somewhat early in the morning, or I say morning, but, you know, it was like, you know, Saturday morning football games, right? Because, you know, whatever. Is that you would, ha- you would have surfers come in and they would basically say, I could ski the mountain and surf, you know, I could do, I could do both right. in the same day. And I was like, damn, that's cool. Like, what mountain? Surf in the morning, yeah. ski in the afternoon, yeah. vice versa. Like, yeah. And they would talk about Big Bear. They would right. literally just surf right there, go into the bar, have eggs, eggs and steak, right? And have the beer and then, you know, yeah. pack it in and go out to the mountain. And another cool thing about Big Bear is there are a bunch of lakes, big lakes with cool shit at them. Like, huge lakes, you know? I know Silverwood Lake, Big Bear Lake. And uh, Lake Gregory are the three that always come to mind. Those three because Big Bear Lake, obviously, but then uh, Silverwood and Lake Gregory are by the little parcel that uh, I bought. And it's like a mile from Silverwood Lake, which is just like has a beach on it. It I mean, it's a massive lake, probably the biggest lake in Southern California. And a lot of activities and stuff, fishing. And then Lake Gregory is like three miles south of it. It's on the other side of the mountain. There's a big mountain on one side is one lake and the other is the other. Lake Gregory has like a water park on it. All, and it's another a bunch it's a smaller lake, but a, a lot of cool going on too. So it's a great location. A great location. Um it's a hard place to get to. That's one of the reasons it was so cheap and we were able to get it so cheap. So what did you get it for? How did you how did you come about it and how did you like what did you pay for it? So yeah, those so a lot of people don't know, but you can get bare land. There's a lot of different ways you can get bear land. And um, well, be, to be clear, not bear mountain land. Just yeah, exactly. <laughs> like uh, raw land and especially like, yeah, raw land, nothing right. on it in the woods yeah. somewhere weird. And a lot of people will, you know, buy them and then finance them to you. And that's what I did. I financed it. So this guy bought, for whatever reason, a bunch, of, different lots. A bunch of lots yeah. out there. And we were out there. I don't even remember why the hell we were out there walking around and there was a posted sign on there. And I think we were looking at another parcel out there. And the other parcel ended up being like on a freaking steep mountain. And uh, so we didn't buy it. But this guy was like for sale. And we we're like, eh. So we caught, and it was a really nice little plot of land right off this dirt road up the mountain. And uh, he was like, yeah, it's for sale. And we, we gave him, I think, 350 bucks down or 500 down. And I think it was 150 a month for like three years or whatever it was. Ended up being like 9K total. And we own it now. So you're done with the payments. Done with the payments, owner nice. free and clear. It's like probably 150 bucks a year in taxes. And there are other people building. There are other buildings going up around it. So we're like, oh, wow. So, you know, there's a lot of people don't know that you can get uh, raw land. And then, you know, if you want to put something with wheels on it, you can just put something with wheels on it right there, right, right. then and there. Some richer towns can have a problem with that. Like Lebanon Township doesn't want you to do it too spirit. They're not going to let you put like a trailer on your home, on your land. Right. You got most to, places are okay with that. Yeah, you got to find it. You got to find the zones, right? Depending on the county. Most of them are going to be okay, especially if you say, "Hey, look, this is only temporary because I'm building on it," and et cetera, et cetera. But there are a ton of uh, reputable places where you can go get land parcels financed, and it's really easy. Now, what's the plan? So, like, if you had, if you had, because I think we talked about a couple different options. Like, I mean, obviously, off camera, we were talking. I mean, for for a while now, there's like, you know, you could do a log cabin, right? But that comes with, you know, this situation. I found like those bunky houses. I don't know if you're familiar with those, but they're kind of like, you know, they're, you know, they're less expensive, but they're modular homes that you put together yourself. You know, which is something I just more recently found. The containment homes, the tiny homes that are on wheels, like you mentioned. I mean, the options are kind of endless. It's just, you know, what direction? Are you leaning in one direction, I guess, is the question I have. I lean towards putting a cabin on it, getting electric, uh, yeah, sewage and water. Yeah. 
So and get then, the utilities on there. But you're going to have to have some permits. Some you can kind of get around in certain ways and then sell it. Yeah. So put it like a little cabin with some fishing stuff there or Airbnb it. But now that we're out on the East Coast, I'd rather just build it up, try and put like 75 to 100 into it and sell it for 150 Nice. That's what I think. And I actually think if you have cash, that's a pretty good investment strategy. And then go get more. Yeah. If it works, you just go get more from the from the same guy who sold you the first one. Right. You just rinse and repeat. Yeah. Just do it over again. Pretty much. So. Yeah. I, th- I think there's a there's a lot of different ways to approach it. Right. So I think that there's um, definitely some it's it's a cool project to be at least thinking. In. Well, most people don't know they, that options out there. They're like. Yeah. You know, well, what is raw land, this and that? And they're kind of looking in their backyard, but it's like, well, a lot of people make businesses out of this. They'll go buy a huge piece of land, they'll break it off into parcels and then finance the parcels off. So find one of those guys and just get it financed. And usually when they're doing that, they're doing it because they have a feeling that the area will be somewhat... Um, Coming in development. Exactly, in some sort of way. Or maybe, even if, or maybe it's really good hunting land. Mm-hmm. That's like a usual draw to, these, to, the, to those guys. But... The option is out there to go do that and put a cabin on it and go, you know, get a get a little a getaway place. You finance the building, you finance the, you know, because yeah, I mean, I said before I'm going to do it a certain way, but in reality, you could in, you could put three fifty down on the property, yeah, and then put a thousand down on the cabin. That put it one on wheels if you need to. You're done. Yeah. You're like 1500 bucks in and you and you got the place there. And you could do other things. I like, mean, you got a monthly payment after that, but you own it. Yeah. I, oh. I mean, the other, you know, because we've talked about some other options, like even talking about Eric and bringing in solar and like the, all these things that you can just, you know, work on to like get right. it to the point where it's like. You, you, know, can, you, can, you can scale it and put a bunch of money in and make it an experience for Airbnb. You can make it very simple and experience for airbnb and makes probably make a little money yeah starlink now right it's not yeah. even like you need to so wire those things in there great great point put starlink in there and have like excellent internet like yeah. even with no towers around in the middle of the, what's, there's a lot of cool things you can do and yeah. you can get a or you yeah finance a, a drivable camper or a tow behind and park that on there and put some fishing poles and now you have a getaway that's yours yeah so there's like so many cool things like minnesota and these like all sorts of places that are on rivers you know, or like back up against uh, state land that are thousands of acres so you can go hiking and fishing and all that. Really, really amazing opportunities out there. Okay. Okay. Right here. Let's go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's cool. You can go on and lie to me, cause I can see right through your lies, but baby, it's not phasing me, it's cool. Facts. I see them texts you sending me, you know you got them tendencies, and I can be your therapy, it's cool. You type it, delete it, rewrite it, believe it, receive it, I seen it, it's cool. Facts. You fake it to fake it, you make it, I take it, reshape it, replacing the truth. <laughs>